this is Anna Woods with She Strength. Welcome to my home. Um, coming at you again from my barn gym here in Central Kansas. I wanted to talk to you a little bit, um, continuing on with our series about modifications, how to do lifts a little bit differently to provide a different variation or uh, a way to provide an easier version of what you see in your weightlifting videos or on YouTube or on Instagram or at the gym. Um, so today I wanna talk simply about push-ups. I see lots of different variations. I see lots of ways that people approach how to do them, but probably the most common thing I hear from women is I just can't do them. I can't do real push-ups. So I wanna show you a little bit about how I coach my clients through modifications for a push-up with several contraindications on how to do them. <clears throat> so if you're not familiar with a regular push-up, we wanna keep our head neutral with our thoracic spine, lumbar spine, core tight. A correct movement should be the chest comes all the way to the floor, and comes all the way back up, keeping a straight line from the shoulders, hips, to the toes. Um, what you'll see a lot, and one of the first things I test with people is if they're even able to push themselves up from a lying position without losing their scap stability and shoulder stability. So the first thing that you should not be doing a full push up on your toes is if you cannot push from a, the floor into a position of stability with your upper back, without your upper back collapsing. So here's what this looks like if you can't do it correctly. So you'll notice how I lose my mid back and my shoulders round and I get lots of scap winging on the side. If you cannot push from the floor to an up position, even on your knees, without maintaining a, a smoothness across the upper back and stabilized shoulders, then you have no business trying to do a push up from your toes. So the second thing that you should be able to do is maintain core connectedness, keeping the pelvis over the hips. So this is what it looks like if you can't do it. You notice how I lose my core, my, my back is arched, you'll also see the opposite. Here. So the main things we want to do is keep chin in line, neutral cervical spine, thoracic spine, TL junction, lumbar spine to the hips. You should be, if I put a stick on your back, it should touch all of those points throughout the full range of motion of the push-up. So one of the ways I help my clients learn how to do a, a push-up in a correct form is one, just practicing that position. So we'll start here. I'll put a stick on their back and they have to press up to this position, being able to maintain neutral alignment with all of that. And then the goal is to try to hold that position, trying to get everything neutral and be able to hold the upward push-up position. And then obviously the progression is to your knees and your toes eventually working out into a full plank. But one of the modifications I love the most when you're in a workout or you're in a wad and you need to do push-ups is this modification right here. And this is the one that, the main thing I wanted to show you today. Is you start on the floor, press up to the knees, lift the knees up, come back down to the floor. Press up from the knees, lift, down, up, down. That's my favorite modification for those that can demonstrate stability in the shoulders from a push-up position. Uh, to learn to get the core strength and the core connectedness to do a full push-up on their toes. So give that a try today. Again, keep the knees down while you push up. When you get to plank, lift your knees up and do a slow negative back to the floor. So give that a shot. Let me know what you think. You can find me at SheStrength.com, on Instagram at SheStrength, Facebook SheStrength by Anna Woods Fitness.